game. Victor has a lot of damage as the game does progress as well. Ziggs picked up by DFM. That is a stalling team fighting comp if I have ever seen one. We said for uh, DFM and topside is strong for Mega. And that's also just a very simplistic way to look at it. It can get more complex about how certain matchups work, but sometimes it is as simple as just basic math. <laughs> HP on that Infernal. Teleport coming in from Rocky. G4 on the wrong side of the fight, but we use the Twilight Shroud. 3000 HP still on the Infernal as it targets out Mega G4 force of one side. Crescendo comes out. There's the Glacial Fissure as well. Mega Inferno Bomb hits all of Mega. There's a lot of damage coming out as Eevee and Evie now trading on towards the Infernal. It's taken by Pop, by Mega. The Braum takes the Infernal, steals it away, and DFM now just trying to chase for something. Lloyd caught out just a little bit. The Flash is coming in. First blood to Evie, but DFM were unable to get the Infernal. Mega stole it away. They may have lost the Infernal, but they do have the creep around them, so they get the first blood as on Kale, of all things, as well as the tower, and they can possibly push through here because they're delaying a lot of... their second tower of the push, have the satchel charge as well just to help out, get that little bit of final damage and detonation focus like, As long as Ziggs is alive and has the wave clear, you will not cross this line. So I like that uh, Mega are deciding to kind of split up the map saying we cannot deal with this, let's try to attack into our side lanes. Yeah, Mega going for the 1-3-1, one, one, putting Rocky in a side lane, putting G4 up towards that top side as well, but they do lose that. He used to stop the crescendo. All of them are still available for detonation focus me as they turn towards the Inferno. It resets Mega. Able just to chip away, able to poke, but look at the damage they're taking, look at the healing on Detonation Focus Me, no one down below any health at all, they're all sitting up at full, and Mega realized you just can't do anything against Eric, that. Maybe he can try to get out of Crescendo or just uh, push her out of a fight before they're able to stack. Oh, Rocky flashes away, but a great flash follow from Gang. the Mega Inferno Bomb lands on the head of Rocky, and he is forced away, the Cosmic Radiance keeping all of Detonation Focus Me alive. Like, I don't know how much damage this is going to do to me. Not a lot. Better safe than sorry. And he's still got four different ways of becoming in a vulnerable. Detonation Focus Me start up the Baron. They turn the fight. The Glacial Fisher comes out from Pop. Lloyd down towards this bottom side, forced away by DFM. The Mega Inferno Bomb connects and Evie gets the kill. G4 has to jump across the wall and Detonation Focus Me will turn straight back towards the Baron now. That catch was actually huge. The only response that they have right now is to try to go for a steal while Victor is hard pushing bottom. The question is, does Rocky TP in. Jun forced away, the Dazzle almost connected. He had to flash G4, chased away by Evie. The KO damage is just indomitable. And Jun continues to be zoned away by Seras. Now, 4,000 HP left on the Baron. Jun not going to get anywhere near it. Detonation focus me will get it, but the inhibitor, uh, inhibitor tower is the focus here from Rocky. Will, I believe, just look to get this and then back away before we see detonation. Mega, Mega never really pulled the trigger. We never really saw that spark of ingenuity, that spark of fight. Apart from the first gank from Jun down towards that bottom lane, I can't remember him having too much of an impact on the map. And now DFM pushing under inhibitor towers here. Evie, level 16. Waves of fire just sweeping away the Dominion wave in front of him. DFM just going to push towards this inhibitor tower. Seros on his way. It's going to be a 5v5. G4 has returned, but the turret is going to go down. Evie pushing onto Rocky. The flash forward. There's the crescendo. Unipon there in the middle of it all as well. As G4's force back, they're just running for the hills. DFM have taken no damage whatsoever. They take the inhibitor. They might just be looking for the game. Mega, you need to pick a moment to fight. It's do or die because these guys are not slowing down. There's no point losing your Nexus. If you don't think the fight is good enough, you just have to go for it. They're waiting At for the wave. Point, you've lost too much. The wave comes in, pulled back with the gravity well, but Evi just chases Rocky away once again. Sona's in the middle of it all as Jun up towards the top side. First Nexus Tower going to fall very rapidly. G4 trying to step forward, trying to push them back, but you got to pull the trigger. Mega. You've got to go for it. There's your Nexus Towers going down. You only have one more of those left. Mega, the cooldowns are down. They don't have access to Ziggle. They don't ask, have access to Sono. I think they're just saying, if we die here, the game is over. Let's see if they'll leave and take our chances later on. But it only looks worse. And Detonation Focus Me, they're not leaving. You've still got Cosmic Radiance. You've still got Lamb's Respite. You still have Divine Judgment. You have three forms of invulnerability, and you're pushing forward. Evie continues to swipe away at Mega. And Lloyd can't do anything about it. He has to jump away. The Nexus Tower falls. Jun lands the Cataclysm on four players. But you just can't do any damage. Rocky however, has taken out Unipon. Here's the Cosmic Radiance. Jun forced low. The Lamb's Rest by Time's out. Seros gets him. And now it's just the Nexus to target Gang. Flashing forward with the Dazzle. It's a double for Rocky, though. They're trying to turn it around. It's DFM just focusing down the Nexus. Evie still alive on the back line. A triple kill for Rocky. But is that too little too late? Because Detonation Focus Me are focusing the Nexus. And they take game one of Group B around or, or uh, play kill and play forward in the lane. I expect it to kind of work like that. 
Final lock is for Nectar, not for Tay. So it's going to be even sitting on a control ward. No Man's has no awareness. He's going to step forward, puts control ward down of his own. Shinny goes in, but Pineapple round the corner. Only level four, doesn't have the Dragon's Rage kick. We'll just force Envy and Shin here away, but Nomads could actually fight Shin here. The Unleashed Power is going to be a lot of damage. Shin flashes forward, goes unstoppable, but dies. Nomads flashes away. And Nanasik is the one to pick up the kill of first blood in this game. And holds on to his cleanse that he's fine to take that trade. Our boss coming down is definitely going to help him out as well. Shinny did get into this bush, but there was a ward spotting out. He scattered the weak out of the E, and he can't burrow to safety. Boss will take the kill in the bottom lane, because the Carters is able to sustain by himself. Santos is here in the mid lane, trying to deliver a present to Envy. The Requiem comes down. Braum in the middle of it all as Red Bat pops a Glacial Fisher. Here's Shinny, it's a 4v3 in favor of INTZ now, and Nana Sick falls, and INTZ actually found the perfect... This is the perfect opportunity for him to use that. Shinny here. Coming in with the bow, tries to get in, flashes forward, MB trading, no man's there, furious fight to the face. And no man's will fall, INTZ answering with a kill of their own in the mid lane, the Mountain Drake will go to Vegas squadron. Yeah, the gank finally pays off third Skittles time. were coming in, and he didn't have any safety from his support. I almost feel like they played the combo incorrectly there. What I would love to see them do, I'll hold it though. The Santa's concussor blows is going to come out here, the Glacial Fisher locks him in place, there's no real escape for the pike. Didn't have the flash up, and Mills will get a kill Unlock in Unlock this lane. Really nice ward there from INTZ. The ward spot out and Anasik as he goes across, and it means immediately Tay pops the Dominus in the top lane. Boss tried to use the unstoppable also, but will get caught underneath the tower. Tay survives. Rift held you down towards the bottom side. Vega Squadron trying to react to INTZ. It's play up towards that top side. Yep, and now we're in a tower race here to see who can push this one down. Rift Herald? Yeah, Rift Herald's always going to get it first, you have to feel. Headbutts the tower, and they will take it. INTZ will answer with one in the top lane. They'll be about a thousand gold ahead at the end of this trade. But there is a dragon oh, on the towards two, three items towards the Rabadon is a huge power yeah. point. No man gets to force it all the way back and get some decent damage onto this tower. But now it looks like INTZ doubling down on boss, knowing that he doesn't have his ultimate. Yeah, that's the thing. Doesn't have the ultimate. So much easier to make the play here. Shinny actually flashing forward. Boss trying to get away, but the void rock will chase him down. Ra indeed for Skurin. And a quick kill for the INTZ jungler. And after going 0 2 0, he is now sitting at 2 2 and 2. No man's will get the top tower eventually. But Tay is in a strong position into the heck room in a side lane now. Yeah, and that's kind of where you're trading your power points. The fact that No Man's gets the extra experience. You can now see level 13 to level 12. Levels do mean a lot for unlocking the potential of Syndra there um, versus trying to put that Hecarim down and give your uh, Renekton a bit more. Six making a play over towards the other side of the map. Tay has Flash, has Dominus, and just pop the ult straight away. Knocked back with the Devastating Charge. The Cold Meek, the Requiem comes out, but the Cold Meek will not be enough to heal him I'm up. Ban this, and we're going to see if you can actually play standard across from us on an international stage. And the question hasn't been great at clearing out wards. On the other side, only Santos has one, and then he has Duskblade passive as well to try and spot people out. Now, INTZ have been caught out in the top lane. Envy taken out with the death from below. The Requiem's going to pop onto Shinny as well. Uses the Void Rush to dodge it out, but he just dives into his death, his demise. And they're not going to pull it. Not going for it at all. Baron will be taken by Vega Squadron. 26 minutes in. Boss actually uses the Unstoppable Onslaught to jump across the wall there. They think they can catch out Tay. He was in the top lane, greeting for the minion way, pulled back with the Bone Skewer. There's no escape for the Crocodile in that top lane, and no man's uh, will Vega take. Vega Squadron are threatening with a potential dive from Boss. They feel so powerful right now with Baron. They're a composition that can siege quite safely, despite the fact that they don't have a lot. take for them. They spend, extends that gold lead. Up to a in a healthy spot. Rise is just very good as a champion, right? He's got escape tools. At least it's not. See, it was just a better read from uh, Pineapple and better play from No Man's. Good stuff over from Banana Sake. The Banshee's Bell was popped there. Scattered the weak use onto the wards. The Rise. The Locket looks like it's trying to come yep. in here for Braum. Oh, fight onto Red Butt here. No Man's not soon enough. him out. Red Butt surviving for the moment. Mills locked underneath the tower. The Rec Room is going to come out. That will be a dead Braum. You have to feel it's a double. He takes out Mills from about. I was thinking glass half full. I'm like, they're trying to get their defensive items. They're trying to survive it, but they're pulling the trigger. Shinny going in, pops the void, rush. It's all onto No Man's. Goes into the G. Yeah, MB flashes forwards, get one. The temple coming in for Tay as well, but is it too little, too late? INTZ, force back. MB, low, death from below will take him out. And now, Vega Squadron Gadget.
Baron. Is she gonna die to the Baron? Gadget's behind it. The shield isn't enough. He's still alive. Tay turns up the boss. Gadget dies. Gadget is down, but the Baron goes down in favor of Vega as well. Now Tay in a 1v3 flashes away. Ginny trying to run to the winds as well. Tay with a slice and dice, but the chase comes in. It's not enough. He's down. Tay heals up from the cold. Shinny, help just help two him. Be one is Shinny. Go do it. Stop clearing the minion. CS doesn't matter. You can help your man. True Shop Barrage misses to the side. Shinny with the bow forward. Vega squadron on the retreat. They need to save these Baron buffs. And Anna Six is going to jump across the wall, but the slice and dice is on the chase. Boss ran up towards the top side. They're going for him. They'll give away one. They'll say the Leeson can get away, but this Baron recall is going to be in time. And INTZ can't take them all down in time. Vega squadron get out with Baron buff on boss and on an innocent. So recap, Vega Squadron, they get the Baron, they have it on two members, which means they can at least apply it on multiple like ways. Tay could turn it around, and as you say, Tay has played four roles competitively. The only the initial burst, then we try to turn it down, but Vega, they don't necessarily even need to fight, they can try to split up this Baron. They can Looking to win the fight before it starts, the Requiem comes in, the pair to the guards, Vega Squadron, two shot comes out, so much damage catch is done, but he will go into the death divide and knock back. So much work being done here by that calf that's in his passive. No man takes the kill. It's one for one, but look at how low all of INTZ are. Red Button, Envy, and Tay trying to defend. shinny has gone back to base. Vega Squadron still have the teleport on boss. They have 17, 15 seconds left on this Baron power play and just one inhibitor tower that they're looking to take. That was the big thing. It was the fact that the tower was still standing, but finally the oh, hit. Maybe the jungler. Yes, hook. The death from below comes out as well. It wasn't even needed. No Man takes his third kill of the game, and Shinny. It's been a story of two junglers this game. He's goes from absolutely awful at the start to great in the middle and now getting caught out. Paying off for the enemy team. Death from below as well from Santos. Taking out the enemy support. And Vega now can look for the end. They can look for the push here as they go towards the bottom lane inhibitor tower. Tay slicing and dicing away the hook back once again. Santos! Can this man do everything? He's hit hook after hook, he gets kill after kill, and Vega Squadron are looking for the win. It felt like a, tor a story of two regions. Who was going to find the redemption? Who was going to say, you remember Alvis Nox Luna, you remember Kaboom, but remember my name, and it is CIS, Vega Squadron, that come out on top. Vega Squadron coming, that they're showing us that they are here to party. They'll take their first game of MSI 20 the 2019 with a convincing win over INTZ. I know, you were Channel looking for with the Hecum, you can run around quite Quite a lot. That's a big carry coming out from the side of DFM, but more of a team fight threat in the form of the Vladimir. And it feels like both teams, Steel, appeared on the map at level five and was just like hard alpha by Heimerdinger there. The two teams. So detonation focused me. Haven't had as many leads as they want, but maybe they're gonna get eight kill here in the top lane. Steel falls down. A boss and I know it's on slot four boss, but and Anasik there with the flash. There's the stand united as well. Mega Inferno Bomb's not going to be enough. And then Anasik will take the kill. Checks, then yeah. skill checks. Maybe our first fight. Oh, he, oh, he steals it away, but the Hemo Plague and the final auto attack themselves is enough. Running in. Devastating charge onto steal. They're looking for the fight, but here's the hero's entrance. Detonation focus me, trying to bait out the play. Double taunt land. Sells there with a the hexplosive in mind. Santa goes golden. Unstoppable onslaught from boss gets him away. Santa's trading onto steal could just ignite him. Evie's gonna take down no man's, but Santa's gets the kill. Just go for it, man. You're gonna die anyway. He gets the rift out. Satchel charge knocks him back, and eventually he falls to Seros. Evie chased oh, before he even gets a charge off. Oh, maybe just one? Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't take any damage, so now they can continue to push. Gang comes into the mid lane to try and defend. Shen's here as well as Santos comes up from the bottom side of the map. Double taunt lands. It's only Santos who's taking up the tower, still jumping in. They just want a little bit of chip damage onto this tower. You know, it's down to about that mid lane tower. They're actually taking a Cloud Drake right now as well. It's the second dragon of the game. And detonation. Careful. The enemy team can just collapse on you. Now, Steel trying to get in, dodges away from the kick, knocks him back, Gadget there, the double taunt comes out, the teleport used as well, but they don't really have the damage to catch out Vega. Evie came in with a TP, Gadget flashed away. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Mega Inferno Bomb actually landing here. That's the Tides of Blood from Evie. He'll get the kill with the Proto Belt. Santos underneath the tower, surviving for a very long time, but as soon as this minion wave comes in, Santos is a goner. Winds of War into a final transfusion from Evie will get them the double. They'll look for the tower down here in the the top side of the map, though, Vega have taken two towers and are pushing towards that in here. And that's this area. Look at the level disparity between the junglers still as well. Usually you see the uh, junglers behind catch up as the game progresses. He's two levels behind. And a nasty down towards this bottom side will help turret falls. It's the final outer tower of the game for Vega. Only one tower remains outside. Oh, the team fight us right now, you can take it. But we think we're stronger. We think we're taking the whip.
And they've also now got double ocean and four. Uh, Play four and they've started on the Baron. 6,000 HP on it, gang. Okay? Gonna put in a ward, spot it out. Seros on his way as well. Has that Mega Inferno Bomb, could look for the steal. Triple turrets in there. And Anastic looking for the smite. The Baron is gonna be taken. No way of stealing that one away. You know, normally you'd see your top laner uh, and your mid laner being the ones responsible for pushing the side lanes, but because he has the only one, because they had like the weird cheese picks, if they abused the meta, that they weren't really the better team. But you know, Step if you forward, go. There's the upgraded Electron Storm grenade. Seros uses the heal, but this tower's gonna fall, and the base has been broken open by Vega Squadron. Hoping my prediction will be right, but Evie instead backs away and is gonna try to defend. What I think they're going to try to do is save the uh, Ziggs ultimate with the steal from Lee Sin. That makes sense as well. However, they have lost him way too early. 1,000 HP left on the Baron. Vega Squadron gonna take it. Beautiful setup. Everyone else in this game pops the triple turret in. They'll take the Cloud Drake. Fifth dragon of the game for Vega. 11,000 gold behind. The stat check gets harder and harder. Gang caught out a little bit here. Everything's going in. Triple Hemo played, but the rest of the team isn't there. There's no Wombo for this combo. Vega forced back. You can see Steel Solo and Anastic just catches him out. The taunt comes out though from Gang. Unipom jumps onto the back line. Top side though. Void Rush comes in from Anastic and already two members of the Stat me are down. Unipom chased out by Boss. It's a wipe. They are clean. Aced everything. There's nowhere for him to go. He's stampeded over, and Vega Squadron will top Group B. They make their statement right there. They clean house, like you said, and you could see what Detonation Focus Me wanted. They said, we must fight. We're not just going to watch ourselves lose this game. So they took a gamble, but it was too little too late. From minute one, Vega Squadron ran this game. Vega Squadron totally demolished Detonation Focus Me. There wasn't a moment, really, that you thought DFM had control of this matchup. They will take the win. They'll 2-0 for the first couple of games of this group. They'll even kill Steel on the fountain. Vega Squadron show us that the Commonwealth... He's got his sand holders correctly. So this is really interesting. It's going to be the Gragas. Tay has played Jarvan top twice during the CBL uh, top side, knowing they're playing on the weaker side of the map because there's less of their team there. Hop there with the Torn. Redbuff trying to get away from it. Doesn't have cleanse, doesn't really have an escape route. Hop's the thick skin, but he's going to go down its first blood across towards June and Mega Strike. Oh, Pop the Oracle's lens. Push it forward. Shinny waiting around the corner here. The Chain of Crush is going to land on June straight away, but the Lounge Death Spike comes down as well. He's knocked out of it. Flashes back in, but then gobbled up and spat out by oh. Red. Yeah, so it's going to be a battle over zone control. Redbutt has to flash away here as the taunt was coming out now. The rest of Mega here, Jun respawn coming across for the Mountain Drake. It's going to be a smite fight, but G4 just scooping away Shinny. The smite comes out from Jun. He's going to try and dance an arrow across the wall, but there's the Realm Warp. Shinny goes in, gets the kill, takes the Realm Warp forward as well. And they will get their second kill of the game. Rocky coming in from the top side, looking for a good position for the Unstoppable Onslaught. Just trying to get onto Mills, but he doesn't quite connect. The Boom Critter will lock him in place. There's the Torn, lands on all three members of INTZ, but Pop goes Pop. He's demolished by the Brazilian powerhouse. Abyssal Voyage now chasing onto G4. Redbird's gonna get shuffled back. He's all on his lonesome. That's not where you wanna be. He unloaded the Toad into the mid lane and he suffered the consequences. G4 gets his first Next step, understanding what they want to do, but also understanding they need the vision control, but Rocky caught up here. And so Blonso comes out, the Predator pop from Shinny, looking for the body pop, will knock him back, explosive cast to the face, that's a kill. I was like, I was very excited. We're gonna fight over Rift Trails. Instead, we're ganking top lane. Well, Tay's, top again. Yeah, Tay's just ganking the, um, sorry, Ginny's ganking this. Credit's coming out. Ginny could just he's look. Fast. Yeah, he's got the flash. Doesn't even need the explosive pressure by going down towards this bottom side, but Tay's gonna take the first tower of the game. All five plates going over to him as well. He's sitting at 6,300 gold, almost 2,000 ahead of me. And their support up towards the top side. Tay can deal with them for a little bit, but I uh, don't think it'll be too long. Rift Herald has been popped up here by Jun, and uh, Tay will just retreat. He realized he can't really do much in a 1v4. Looks like it's a trade for trade. I think that there was a little bit of shenanigans happening in the mid lane where uh, Shinny and Envy were trying very difficult for him to play into that Jarvan Dragas combo. Chain of corruption onto Jun. He'll pop the lands just by Teleport coming in behind them. There's a hero's entrance as well. And INT's there to try to fight this on three different fronts. Tay there on the front line. EQ misses. Cataclysm blast away from Jun. Lloyd jumps across the wall with his ultimate. Tay so low. The heal coming out from Jun as well. And Tay is down. Mega somehow find a fight. And pop goes uh, the Varus as well. Mills falls. INTZ. They, they're putting all their vision up towards the top side. It makes it really difficult for Rocky to do anything in this bottom lane. Because Tay could be there. Shinny could be there. He knows that Shinny has his number. 
And he's just trying to hide, but he's been found. Uh, be respectful when Jun gets caught out like that. The explosive cast comes out, but the damage rest will keep him alive for the moment. G4 up towards the top side of the fight, has yet to join. The Cataclysm comes out as well. Pop goes into the stopwatch. G4 can put the soldiers down, but Tay is the one to take the kill. INTZ, get one, get out. Patient. Rocky can reset, and he has TP, and look for a flank, because everyone is now full health again. Here goes Jin, he flashes into G4, and G4 cannot answer in time. Couldn't put down the soldiers for protection. INTZ, get me. Take that one down very quickly with that mountain. He's standing on a ward. He doesn't know. Flash taunts. Shinny caught out. Hasn't got a way to get away. There's no flash on that Gragas, and there's no hope for him. A grand the kindred. 6,000 HP left on the barrel as INTZ go in. Tay with a cataclysm trying to do what he can with the unstoppable onslaught. The slide in. G4 sweeps away Mills. Hero's entrance on the back line as Tay is caught out as well. Redbird the only one to survive. Tay trying to do what he can, but he has to flash away. And the Baron is still there. Tay could go in, but the Baron will fall in favor of Mega. They will get the ace, and they find the perfect team fight against INTZ. She saves lives while Vision can take lives as well. And INTZ struggled. Exactly what they can do. INTZ licking their wounds a little bit, but still. Two minutes left. He's taking the time that he hard pushes top lane, so he's trying to force uh, Mega to consider retreating. Belt is in a very strong position. A three item is there is nothing to be sniffed at. So he's still waiting out. Looks like Mills is going to go back and get his third completed item on this Varus. So he is at a very strong power point now. Oh, with hold on, they're going to fight, Medic. Looks like they're going to go for a fight. Here we go. Don't care about the vision because the fight has started. I'll top of Lancelot used and immediately Sinny has to go into the stopwatch. Redbird eats up Envy, gets him away, but can the vice survive? Rocky's so low, he pops the stopwatch as well and Tay jumps in, has the cataclysm locked up three, but the Lance Red fight just in time and it keeps the entire team alive. Mega are unkillable, INTZ. Right now, you can see that Envy just pieces out. He's like, I got the wolf camp, guys. This one's on me. Second Baron of the game going over to Mega. They are five the Baron, Zinni. Unable to do that much damage in the last fight. I mean, he, he literally got like half an auto off and then had time away. Looking at this in this push for inhibitors from Mega. They got rid of all these towers out. Perfect flank position here. Envy coming across as well. INTZ, you've got to pull the trigger. Rocky joins the fight. It's a 5v5. It's going to go up. Red Buck already down to about two thirds HP. He jumps in, only gets one. The Cataclysm locks him away. There's G4 with a streamer shuffle as well. Pushing away INTZ. The Lamb's Rest Bike comes out, but really Mega. No Rabadons yet on that as it hasn't hit that full power. Look at Mills in this fight. It's all on him and Envy. They have to get the damage down. And Hibbs goes down and Omega will retreat. Just as punch away from Pop. See Southeast Asia up against Brazil. In what could be a defining moment for both these teams' tournaments live, the, the Elder Dragon down to 2,000 HP is smited away, but the slide comes out. Can INTZ survive? They get the Elder, but they don't get anything else. They lose every single one of their lives apart from Redbird, and the Tom Kench isn't going to be able to do too much against a rampaging Mega. They were late to the Elder Dragon, but they won the ensuing team fight. They are now charging down the midline. Surely this is going to be the nail in the coffin as Mega finally come alive for this tournament. Mega found the proactive plays in the mid game. They found the Barons, they found the fights, and they find their first victory at MSI 2019. Okay, bot lane. Wow. Survived, you're gonna back off. But this might change the narrative depending on where it, this bell cause ends up. Yeah, it might actually still be the Nautilus support, as I was saying. Nocturne gank. Incredibly creative pathing coming in from Kira. They've been caught out already. They're gonna get locked up. Big needs to run for his life, but he's not even gonna try for anything. He just goes down. First blood dropping already for Fenebache. That's going to tempo in a longer fight, but you know, either way, you can see overheal strap shield. That is so difficult to actually fight back into. Sarasso extending the trade, trying to use the Conqueror to good effect. Needs to hammer swap, though, if he wants to get anything off the ruin, just moving in. He's going to get the first kill oh. in the top. And when we talk about the last time, these two times these teams met, Ruin was also a massive contributor. I have to hold that thought. It only could be in trouble. He's One dead. more auto. He's going to get taken down. It's a bloodbath on the bottom side, despite that first kill. And a TP committed as well. They know Rumble doesn't have flash. He's going to swap forms to go for the Empowered Shock Blast. That's going to be one man locked up. Kirei now running for his life. Ruin in trouble. Set to fall. Overheats and now trying to retreat. Gets a bit of damage down, but now will go down to Null in the exchange. Meliodas pulling back. Oh, though, on the way up. He's he level six as well. Kirei, if he can get anything, is the slow going to catch on the Zeros. He's now set to fall once again. He's going to try to leap to the minion, but it will not be enough. Kirei now going to run him down. Zeros trying desperately. But Bo Lulu will grab a kill back. Everywhere across the map, there seems to be action. Lissandra's back oh. on the bottom side. Immediately, they're going to go in the chain. CC is flawless. Pala with a flash into the binding. Big Koro going to grab the kill. Only 35 potentially next on menu. Tries to pull him back. Pala with the heal. Just not going to be able to escape. Good turn for Olmi. They can land any CC and set this up. It's 
And Light down. He does immediately land. Melio is going to move in, try to take down Hades. Curious is on the way. Bolulu as well. They need to kill only immediately. They need to get out of this play if they want to come out on top. Only now going to get taken down. Double kill drops to the dragon. Bolulu. Bolulu with the ult. Channeling into the middle of the team. Should grab Pallet as well, but Pallet's still alive. Taking down Burning. Meliodius will grab another kill. A triple for the oh. dragon. Now turned back. An absolute blood battle. Looking even stronger. But of course, also the Rune Glaive. And now we're gonna have to see if Zeros can survive this play as well. Equalizer is laid down. Zeros flashes over the wall. Nal just trying to retreat, trying to pull back here. Hades. Hades on the way as well. Doesn't have the ultimate, but Meliodas. Hades may be the one who's actually caught out here. Moving forward with the body slam, chokes up on the spell shield, and now Meliodas will grab yet another kill. Four Doesn't have one. The tools to escape if he ever gets caught out. But now we're gonna have to ask Ruin the same question. He's just gonna try to burn through immediately. Zeros taken down. No tools for him. Ruin grabs yet another kill on the top side. Chunk of gold, two plates both Kyrie and Bolu. And Kyrie just walking forward. Great use of the spell shield there. Forced to use the cell fault now, and that's going to be a lot of damage under the tower. Oh, but he has to Flashing forward, getting the ulti pallet. A madman in the middle of the team if he manages to complete this. Oh, goes golden in the midst. Melios in the way, and that's a big Gragas. They're going to get taken down. Kyrie, they both go golden. They try to buy time, but the cask explodes. One, and now two as well. The shutdown dropping for Null. Really nice jungle done. item already completed. You're basically at the point where you can one combo a squishy character, and that is so frightening. And Truly terrifying. Predator feels it's appropriate oh. keystone, but Nall actually one who's going to be fishing for a kill here in the mid lane. Knockup is going to come out, retreat from Power Flash, back use of the ulti binding, not going to stop it. Big Coral going to grab the kill. The Power Shock Blast only hitting support and ruin in that exchange. The ulti though now connecting on ruin, one of the strongest members of the team, pulling back with the Knockup is beautiful. Nall is going to get time to self ult, however. Hook manages to land on the bar, so that's going to be massive, but he flashes out safety. TP now coming in from the Simmer. She wants to join the fight on the hunt, could be massive. Is immediately going to use a key right now, trying to run into melee lanes. The flash forward from Hades, he wants to get a kill. They do miss it's shut down. Null in the mid lane, but the rest of PvP on the retreat. The sidestep not going to connect. Wall is oh. going to get hit. Kyrie immediately looking for the delete there. One kill getting taken down. He's going to get two. Big Koro turning it around in an instant. The Varus is just too strong. Oh. Amount of damage coming in from the Varus. And Zipper, of course, joined so late. The flash boomerang didn't even connect. Big Koro, though, going to throw down the ulti. Jace, though, off to the sides. May not be the best position. Big Koro strong enough, potentially. To carry that Here fight on no. the rest of the team here. Null in the midst of everybody gonna try to lock oh, the spell shield, the spell shield it. into it. Now gonna be denied, however, the fight continues anyway. Zeros on the chase here has to flash out to yeah, very tough as well. Be in that defensive position. Only now caught out. Zeros is gonna look for the chase down. Will he commit anything else? Bolu is there to try to dissuade, but the black shield gonna stop anything else. Zeros is just gonna grab a kill. Yes, his lane opponent is strong, but the support definitely not strong enough to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Arrow comes out, Hayes at half health. A fight hasn't even started yet. Kira gonna commit the ultimate, but. I don't know where he's going to go here. There's not really an isolated target outside of the Jace. Does leap into the team anyway. Immediately uses the spell shield. Now pinned in by the Equalizer. Big Coral can't come to the fight, but Kyrie just barely going to dodge out there. Zero still alive. Manages to take down Bolu. Starting to do so much damage. The mob of Mount Morty is helping him turn as Null grabs yet another kill. Ruin running for his life. Will manage to escape in the end. Good job by, by the Fung Blue Buffalo. Splitting the map, and now they're looking for Null. I'll see coming in from Kyrie. Null, will we see him use the cell phone? They may not have time. Just barely able to get that one out. Healing up just a little bit, but the rest of the team is going to commit. Using the stopwatch as well. They want to extend this fight. Meliodas is on the way in. Lots of members grouped up. Predator is there. Will they commit? Nocturne is here. Sivir is on the way. On the hunt, though, not available. The rest of the team is split off. They're now trying to come into the fight, but Nautilus and Velkaz are on the back side. Redemption is here. Zero is barely going to be able to walk in. Meliod is throwing out. Bar Assault is going to go wide, however. They found themselves caught in the pinch. Good news is Ruin does not have an ultimate available. They're now trying to back off. They show off down so many members. Shut down onto the Gragas, and PvB caught out in the play. Yeah, they're able to kind of wrangle them and push them out. Better part of Valor, but now starting it back up, and they've kind of given a lot of time for them to get in position. On the hunt now, used from Hades Black Shield coming out. Null been caught out in the mid lane, but the rest of the team fight is split. The binding is not going to connect. Null still the focus for the entire team. They want to shut down the CC and try to look for the turn. Only now keeping the fight going. Ruin ultimate just seconds away. Big Coro needs to run. Flash out to safety, pulling back. Not a will connect. Beautiful Black Shield. Only 35, though. May have overstayed his welcome. Now on the retreat, there's the equalizer to block off the rest of the team. Meliodas on the backside could be massive. Lots of low health bars. Where's the Gragas going to go? He manages to take down support. He managed to take down one more. That's two for the Gragas, but the Sivir grabbing one back. Velkaz as well. Two for two there on the back half of that fight. Without execution, who can make the individual outplays in these sorts of team fights? And but there's no vision in the pit. Ghosts are going to spot it out here for Bolu. Slow on a lot of members of the team. 6k is going to have to flash to save to the Equalizer is the response through. And of course, level 3 Equalizer here, but not going to connect on any members more than one. Now retreating. Pala trying to turn. Big Coral going to be caught out by the Nautilus, but there's no follow-up. Predator used. Meliodas looking for a pick. The rest of the team now retreating. The support now locked up. There should be one kill heading over to Fongbu Buffalo. They get the pick. Benabache are forced So has a lot of MR was not really the play, I think. It's very unlikely you're going to be able to only to be able to kind of create this space for you. and. In they go. I don't know. They, they knew they were all there. Fight GA. 
is gonna get procced here, pretty much uncontested, but a lot of damage down to the big core. Big core needs to get out safety. His GA procced as well. Kire, can they take him out? The lockup is there. Which core now needs to get out? The black shield available. He has a lot of sustain. If he can just keep auto attacking, no one else is there to fall. Big core still alive. Health bar incredibly low. Zeros on the back line is going to be massive. The body slam forward, the double kill, and the ace for PBB. They're just gonna march it down mid. I think they could actually end the game, perhaps, if not just take a lot of inhibs. I think Zeros realized that he didn't need to TP top. They're actually going for the end. 30 seconds. The fastest death timer there. They have minions. This should be it. PVB on home soil, looking to qualify for the best of five up against Team Liquid. They have enough time to end the game. Miscalculations would be dire, but it looks like they've got it. They will not overstep like the Baron. They know this one is their site. They have the damage on the towers, and in a moment, a career-defining moment, PVB take down Fenerbahce and will move on to the bracket stage. Very well played there by PVB.